Hi, I'm Rob Streeter and I'm the author of The Greats of Adirondack Fly Fishing. And we've done a full series of the flies uh, from that book, videos on how to tie each one of them. And this is going to be a new series because I also wrote Warm Water Fly Fishing. And at the time, I was very busy with work and I had a real long commute, so I didn't have time to go on the weekends to the trout streams. Uh, everything was pretty busy, but what I did have at hand at home were access to great warm water fly fishing for panfish and especially for smallmouths. At that time, I really thought that there weren't many good instructional books on the warm water species, which was a shame because a lot of people don't have access to trout streams especially in the Midwest. I mean, panfish and bass are their fly fishing species. So I put this book together. This video series is going to include the flies from that book. The first fly we're going to tie is the crappy candy, and it's a small streamer pattern that I developed for fly fishing crappies, especially in the springtime. It's a great fly to catch them before they spawn. So here's how we tie it. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to have some fishing tips on how to fish this particular fly. Here's how you tie the crappy candy. So we start out with a 3XL streamer hook, size 8. I wouldn't go anything bigger than that for crappies. We are going to add just a little bit of weight on this. I like usually about four to five turns of wire weight so we'll get that on there Crimp it down with some needle nose pliers so it doesn't snag the body tubing. Okay, that's good. Start our thread. I'm going to use two different colors for the body. I'm use white thread in the back, and we'll go to a tannish looking thread for the front. Turn that off. This fly uses marabou. So we got one strand of one marabou feather actually. And we'll just pinch that all to the back. That's about enough for the tail. And tie that in. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of the feather, pull it back, and I'm just going to take a hair clip and hold it back. Now we got to get some body tubing. I like to be about a quarter of an inch longer than the. F I like to have it a quarter of an inch longer in the front and the back. Pull out the stuff in the center. And if you take and make a little snip with the scissors, it'll go. The thread will go in between it a lot easier. Okay, I like to leave it frizzed in the back about that much. And we're going to take and just kind of lasso all that and tie it down. And we'll get that good and tight and build it up kind of like the head of a fly, only it's going to be in the back part. And we'll put a whip finish on it. It's hard because you can't really use the tool. You just pull out some thread and 
get a hold of it. And we'll just take it, the thread and get a little more out. And we'll just bring that loop around a couple of times. Just ease that back with the t end of the tool and we'll trim that off. Give that a little bit of glue. That takes care of the back end of the fly. Okay, here's our other color thread. I'm just going to feel around for the hook I is. And I'm going to start that right behind the hook eye. Again, I just kind of lasso it. That all on there, good. Trim that off, and we gotta pull this back and trim it. body tubing cleaned up and we'll just make sure we got everything bound down take our marabou that we had and I just take and twist it. I'm going to bring that back down. So that's going to act like the back of the fly. And we're going to bind that down. Give that a trim. Too good of a trim because I cut the thread. Never panic. Okay. And we just got to make the head of the fly. Our whip finish, tie it off, glue it down, and the next part we got to do a little model building. And we're going to add some eyes, and we're also going to kind of epoxy the body a little bit. So we'll come back after this dries, after the head cement dries, and we'll do the finishing steps. Okay, here's the grand finale. We're gonna add little little doll eyes. They're three millimeter doll eyes from a craft store. So I'm gonna put those on with fletch type, which is an archery cement for fletching arrows. And put a drop on that side. Kind of 
tiny and hard to handle, but... Get it in the glue drop. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Let those dry and we'll come back and we'll do the final step. Last step we're going to add UV finish. I put it along this marabou part and along the side of the body. And cure it with the light. To the other side. What that does, it makes the fly more durable. And these flies will catch 50 fish and they never come apart. So that definitely helps. But that's it. That's the basic crappy candy and it's a great spring crappy fly. This is the other version of the fly that I tie. It's got uh, dark brown marabou and gold body tubing. And this one works really well as well. A lot of the lakes and everything around here, the, the minnows will have a gold uh, side to them and be kind of brownish and up on their backs. So this really looks like a lot of the minnows in these lakes where I fish for panfish. For fishing tips with the fly, this fly really shines in the early spring and in the springtime when the ice goes off the bays and everything and the lake starts to warm up, the shallow bays warm up first and the uh, crappies will, and even big bluegills will come in and they stage up prior to spawning usually around here it's in June time you know, beginning of June when they spawn but the way to do the fly the way to fish it most effectively is underneath a strike indicator so I'll either use a thingamabobber or these are just a, a simple uh, foam indicators and Crabbies look up to feed, so typically maybe you're going to have that indicator about two feet up above the fly, and you're just going to bring the fly back, and the fly will just kind of sink down under the indicator, and then as you retrieve it, it'll come up, so it's just making that kind of a motion, and it really triggers them to feed. So it really works well under the indicator. Um, you can use this fly for the rest of the year, but the springtime is when it really shines. I hope you like this video in the new series, and we'll be putting more out in the coming weeks. Please do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel, and we're trying to develop more interest. Thus far, I've heard from people as far away as Sweden and Argentina, so that's pretty neat, and we'd like to keep that going. So thank you for watching.